So let's take a look at the materials and tools that we're going to need for this Kerpel monitor stand we will be building. So first we have uh, three sections of 48 inch 15 by 30 extruded aluminum, smooth side. Those will be the uh, vertical section, the two vertical sections, and the other one will be the middle uh, horizontal section that will hold the uh, middle monitor. These two are uh, 15 by 30, 24 inch length that will hold the two uh, left and right monitors. These two are 15 by 15, uh, 24 inch sections, which will be the feet that will uh, be uh, holding up the uh, vertical sections. Um, these are 4x4 four four angle brackets that will be holding the uh, vertical sections uh, will be attached to the feet. These are 4x4 um, four four, uh, or 8 uh, screw angle brackets that will hold the um, horizontal main um, section to the two vertical sections or to the legs. These two are uh, the pivots that will be attached to the two um, extreme uh, monitor sections. As you can see this will fit in here and will be used to pivot those sections so I can uh, move the monitors. In addition we have three 100 by 100 millimeter VESA mounts and these will be attached to these sections uh, around the middle and this section and these will be used to uh, hold my monitors. In addition we have a uh, big box of uh, T-nuts and screws that will be used to put everything together. In terms of tools, the only tools we'll be needing for this build are this uh, 3 16 uh, ball head uh, Allen wrench and the quarter inch one that will only be used uh, at the um, edge section of these uh, pivot joints. So let's start putting everything together. So here is what the brackets will look like attached to the foot and then on top here we'll be putting the uh, vertical section. I spared you the uh, details of uh, showing you how I put in uh, the screws and uh, T-nuts uh, but it's always better to put them on the bracket first and then slide them into the uh, uh, slot here in the, uh, in the aluminum section. So it's a lot easier than putting them in and then trying to, uh, put the, uh, trying to find where the hole is to put the, uh, the screw in. So I'm now going to move to the floor so I can show you what the uh, vertical member is going to look like when it's attached to these 4x4 uh, uh, four four or 2x2. Two two. So this is what it looks like attached. The, uh, the vertical member attached to the foot which is will be sitting on the ground. And um, as you can see here, I've uh, begun sliding in the uh, T-nuts into the uh, slots. I spared you the uh, frustration of trying to get those in, line them up, but uh, I guess that's what it is with, um, with T-slots. So this will go all the way in. Let me hold it. And that's it. So uh, I'm gonna screw in the sides here, tighten these but I'll leave the, um, the ones on the base uh, loose so that I can measure to see uh, where the proper balance will be in terms of length towards the back or towards the front. I'll do the, uh, the other one and uh, then we'll start attaching the, the uh, horizontal ones. So now I place the vertical sections uh, flat on the table so it's easier to uh, attach the uh, brackets. As you can see here, I've attached 
a uh, 4x4 bracket. I've uh, put in the screws and nuts and slid it in here and then did the same thing on the other side and now it's ready uh, for me to slide the uh, section, the vertical section that's going to go on top like that. So that's the vertical section and uh, it's going to come and sit on top like this but obviously I'm going to have to slide the, uh, the nuts in so I can do it properly. So let's do that now. So here's the finished uh, horizontal section attached to the uh, vertical post which are attached to the feet. Of course after I attached it I uh, realized that I put the horizontal member on the rear part of the uh, vertical sections which of course is wrong because that should be on the front part because that's where I want to attach my monitors. Uh, be before I uh, unscrewed everything and tried to screw it back together, I realized that all I have to do is push the feet to face the other direction and then the front becomes the back and we're all good. And here we go all fixed. Now all we got to do is attach the side sections. So this is how the side section will work. These are uh, pivots that can turn freely in any direction. I will be attaching these to the side of this uh, 24 inch uh, 15 by 30 section and then this here has got T-slots on this side which will then slide in to this section here on both sides. So let's do that. So this is what it looks like attached. It's important that when you attach it and you slide the um, uh, T-nuts into the uh, slot that you leave a little space between the actual nub of the uh, pivot to the end of the uh, extrusion so that it allows it some uh, room to move otherwise it'll be locked to it and it won't move at all which defeats the purpose. So now let's attach this to that. So here it is attached. It just slides in with the T-nuts that are behind this uh, pivot joint. And then as you can see, this moves freely. And I'm going to be attaching the monitor there. It'll allow me to move them in uh, the direction that I'd like so that I can, I can get a perfect uh, three monitor attached setup. So here we go. Both side brackets and side uh, sections have been attached and the uh, pivots do their job of allowing this to, to move, uh, this uh, section to move freely. Now this takes a lot of torque. So when we put the monitor on this section here, it's going to put a lot of weight um, on this section here. So you really need to torque these, uh, these two screws down quite a bit. Now I'm only using 27 inch monitors which are not very heavy. Uh, and so this, this setup will be pretty good. But if you're using anything more than that, I would suggest not using these pivots but using the angle bracket that holds these two sections together and allows you to uh, to pivot freely too. This one here is just uh, simpler and uh, easier for uh, lightweight installations. So now the only thing remaining to do is attaching these brackets to the slots here and that will allow me to then hang this, which is a visa mount, that's going to screw, uh, screw to the back of my monitors and then we'll just clip onto the uh, onto this bracket here and we're all done. Now for, for attaching these brackets to the uh, slots I'm going to need uh, different size screws. The standard uh, 5 8 screw will not fit through those holes 
So I have these, um, what are they, 530 seconds uh, that will easily fit through that and have a, a special kind of uh, T-nut that still works with the slot but is made to accommodate this uh, smaller screw. So this is, this is what it looks like attached. There's just uh, four screws and their uh, respective T-nuts attaching it to the uh, slots. And then uh, this piece will come and just hang on top of this. And of course the monitor is gonna be attached uh, to this uh, section. Now in my infinite wisdom and hurry to uh, get this thing done and with any kind of aluminum rig like that, you kind of forget certain things and uh, what I forgot this time was to pass the uh, the uh, T-nuts for this middle section that'll hold the uh, the middle monitor. I could easily do it on that because that, uh, that side is open. Now, um, I guess I'm gonna have to unscrew one of these so I can uh, pass that uh, uh, visa attachment and uh, then we'll be done. So here we go, all done. All the uh, brackets are in. You can see a nice swivel here. Put it, uh, made sure that it was level. So uh, put the end caps so it can look a little nicer too and uh, not grab me when I'm trying to walk by. And uh, now it's ready to receive the monitors. So here it is all complete uh, with the uh, 327 inch uh, AOC 1440p gaming monitors installed and aligned to the uh, best of my abilities for now. Obviously it's uh, a little bit high, or actually quite a bit high for the sim rig, uh, but uh, once that uh, gets installed I'll align everything and uh, post some more videos. Thank you all for watching.